Well, we're heading in on day four. Not sure what today will bring us. Haven't had much luck all week. It's Thanksgiving day. We still got plenty of snow on the ground. It's packed down, but it's, it's quiet. So, really, really hoping today's the day we can find a nice track to get on and maybe get something in the back of the truck. It's been a long week, but it's been a good week. So, we're gonna be heading out. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Well, folks, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's a, that's a buck track. It's not a big buck. It's a, a spike or possibly a, a four-pointer that we call Porker. He walked by this camera at 5.30 this morning. It's 7 o'clock right now. So we talked it over and we decided we're going to follow this track. It's Thursday. It's been a long, long week. Yesterday wore us down. So we talked it over and we're going to we're gonna follow this track of this little buck right here, see if we can, see if we can kill him. I mean, the track is an hour and a half old right now. We could easily catch up to this guy and kill him. So, we'll keep you updated. Talk to you soon. on this other skitter trail over here and got up and left, but we're trying to find their exit track right now. But holy, we are close to them. We are close. That's the update. We'll talk to you later. Well, we're taking a break. We just got a glimpse of a big buck, but uh, he was running, running away from us, probably 50, 60 yards away, a great big buck. So we're going to give him a little time, have a little snack, take a break. So he's following a doe. We didn't see her, but we saw his great big rack trotting away from us. something interesting. 
we just see this old wooden tree stand. Looks like it's been there for a long, long time. I wonder how many bucks have been shot out of that, out of that thing. Alicia saw it and pointed it out to me. That is a really old stand. No seat left in it. That's pretty cool. I wanna make sure wonder how long it's been there. And how many big bucks were shot out of it. Well, I'll tell you one thing, whoever put this up had it in the right spot. There's tracks everywhere. Pretty cool. But like I said, we're going to take a little break, give that buck some time, we're going to get back on his track. We'll see you on the next update. Well, we got back on his track, followed his tracks till he started walking again, and after about 50 yards, where he started walking again, he bedded down right here. And then got up and walked out of his bed. So we're gonna keep on him. And we'll give you another update. Talk to you later. Following his buck track. We come across his old car. Someone from the 70s. Old Jeffy. Pretty cool. He stopped, took it. Or, he did, took a dump right there. He, took a, he stopped, took a huge pee right there. That's fresh buck piss. We're gonna stay on him. We're gonna shoot this buck today. We're gonna shoot him. Oh, well, folks. We didn't get him. We see him a couple more times, but he was ahead of us and we just couldn't, couldn't get the scope on him. He ended up running right into a swamp. Lost his track. That was it. We looked for it for a while, but we're pooped. It's two o'clock right now. We're gonna head back to the truck. Have some Thanksgiving dinner. Hope everyone's having a great day. Laying them down. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, everybody, it's Friday, day after Thanksgiving. Guess I really ain't got much to say. All the snow froze overnight, and it's really crunchy. Not sure what the plan is today. I think we're just gonna go sit over a scrape that we freshened up right before we left yesterday. But I don't know. We hunted hard all week to try to get her a deer. Feeling a little down today. A little exhausted, a little worn out. But we're gonna give her hell anyways. 
Tomorrow's the last day of rifle season. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it out, but Alicia will be hunting. So, maybe today or tomorrow she can make it happen. After that, we got a, a week of muzzleloader season in this zone. Two weeks in the zone that we live in, which is 18. But, I don't know, we're gonna be working on next week, so I'm not sure how much time we'll have to get the muzzleloader out, possibly next Saturday. Might be the only day. Maybe in the evenings here and there, I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna give her hell anyways. See what happens. You know. That's main hunting for you. You don't always get to fill your tags around here. So shout out to my brother in law Caleb and my niece Sarah and my nephew James. They got a YouTube channel called Barkley Outdoor Adventures. And they all got their deer this year. They're from West Virginia. So that's awesome. Congratulations, guys. But anyways, we're gonna hike up this road and get in the woods and sit and call for a little while. I might give you an update, not sure, but we'll talk to you guys later. This is the buck we saw yesterday. I don't know if you can see it on here. We're gonna try to get it on here. That's him right there. We saw him yesterday. That's the one we was tracking yesterday. But after we saw him that first time, we never we never cut back up to him. But anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. In the middle of the night, a buck walked over here. And made that big rub on that tree. And he walks. All the way up here. And does it again. <laughs> 